Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a cool advanced text technique in Camtasia. All right, so I saw someone do this in a video that I was watching on YouTube and I thought, hey, that would be cool if I could do that in Camtasia. So as usual, I was playing around and figured it out. So I'm gonna play it right now and then we will recreate this. So it's just gonna come up in just a second here. And then so it says make it rain and then you got some dollar bills coming down and as you can see it's kind of like a chirpy effect because the bills are happening behind the make it text and they are going over the rain text. So if you step back and look at the video it actually looks kind of like 3D-ish like it, it looks like it's popping out at you. So that's the effect that I want to create and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm just going to move that off to the side and then we'll start fresh. And first thing is you need some footage that is green screen. So this won't work if you don't have green screen type footage. And on YouTube, you can get free green screen footage. So all I did was type in on YouTube, free green screen footage, free green screen effects. And then I saw this one with the money falling down and I thought it would be cool to do an example of this one. All right, so first thing is I'm going to mute this. So I'm gonna highlight it, right click, and then click edit audio. And then I'm going to mute this. So now, and I just want to clip it as well because they have, uh, the channel has, has their little intro. So this is from best green screen, um, and it's free green screen effects. So I'm going to just chop that beginning part, delete that, and then I'm going to move it a little bit forward. And then when I'm here, I need to remove this neon green screen stuff. And you wanna make sure that you find a clip that has really good green screen and doesn't have too many shadows because then if you have a lot of shadows, it's going to be difficult to remove the green screen in a clean way. So you wanna head over to visual effects and if you don't see it, you wanna click more and then you'll see visual effects if it's not already here and then you want to click on it, make sure that this is highlighted, then go to remove a color. You want to drag that down, and then you want to head over to the right hand side, click the little arrow thing, then the eyedropper, then click this, and then it's going to be like, oh, it turned it to neon green. Now I'm not sure why it actually turned it to neon green again, but that's okay, you just need to do it again until you remove the green screen altogether. So I'm gonna click on it again, click on this, now it's black, I want it to have a black background. But now you'll see that there's like some green fringe happening on the dollar bills, we need to get that removed. And this has to do with if you have good quality green screen, this is still good quality because you can see that I'll be able to remove it, but if you have like some shadows happening, then it'll be hard to remove. So I'm going to just play with the tolerance until I can get it removed. And then just check out the softness. Maybe I'll go back the other direction. Around there. And then the D fringe. Let's see. I mean, you can play around with it. I want it to be a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna go over here. And then this will allow you to change the color. So hue will allow me to change this to a purplish color based on its original color. But I don't want to touch that. I just want original colors right now. So now that we're done with the green screen effect, I'll play it here. 
And then you can see it's just some bills falling and it looks like a cool animation. Now we want to grab the text and do that front and back effect. Now it's cool when there the footage is overlapping it so that you can have something behind and in front. That's the whole effect. So I'm going to get some text. I'm going to head over to annotations, grab the big set of text here, and then I will write make it and then I'm going to put rain on a separate line and I will explain why. So first I want to arrange the text properly. So this font isn't that exciting and it's it's not as bold as I want it to be for this video. So I'm actually going to change the font and I'm going to grab a font like this and have it be bigger cuz I want this to be really bold and loud. So I've just sized it accordingly and I'll just maybe leave it right here and I'll just put it over there. Now I'm going to duplicate that so I'm going to go control C and then control V and it's going to create a duplicate and it's actually going to put it below the green screen which is where I want it to go. So you need to have one set of text below the green screen and one set of text above the green screen to make this uh, feature work. So now I need to drag this because it's a duplicate. And then I want it to say rain. So I actually need to move it over here just for a second before I move it back in place because every time I double clicked it would go onto the green screen. So I'm going to double click here so that I can just alter the text and then I'm going to move it back. So I'm going to put the words rain and then I'm going to slide it back. That's all I needed to do that for. And now I'm going to stretch this out and then stretch this out and then I'm going to play the video. So now it's going behind and over and you can even see that there's a little bit of like a see-through, the money's a little bit see-through so you can actually see the text uh, through the money which is kind of cool as well. I mean you don't, if you don't want that then you can go back to the green screen effects and then um, make it more solid so that you don't see it through. So you can head back here and let's see if we can make this there. You see if I make the tolerance lower, then it's less see-through. So if I go back, but I kind of liked the see-through effect there for a second. So let's see here. Yeah, now you can't see the rain text behind. So it's up to you stylistically if you want that text to show through. But as you can see, this is a really neat effect and it kind of makes it pop out. It looks like a 3D type thing that's happening. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. That is how you do this really cool advanced text technique in Camtasia. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you can go ahead and check out the description below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.